So I'm just going to start right at the very, very beginning. From the blogtalkradio.com website, you'll want to go in the top right-hand corner. This is very, very basic, and I know you probably already know this, but I want to go through all of the stuff. So you want to go in the top right-hand corner, and you want to click on that button that says Log In. And then um, you can choose whether you'd like the computer to remember you or not. Yours probably remembers you since you're already logged in. So now you, what you'll see when you first log in is you'll see all these advertisements along the center of your blog talk radio when you're logged in. You'll also see on the right-hand side in that right-hand bar, it will show you shows that you're following if you are following any, anybody's shows their upcoming broadcasts will show up in this right-hand column. And what will also show up is any of your upcoming shows that you have scheduled, which we'll be able to see after, as well as your past shows. So that's just like a little something to give you an idea of like what's coming up. Now, what we're going to go through first is we're going to go through how to schedule a show. Because that's really the first thing that you'll want to do is schedule a show. So I'm going to have you just follow along and maybe just schedule. You can schedule something that you'd like to follow through with and broadcast, or you can just go ahead and delete it after we're done. Uh, The choice is yours. But to schedule a show, you'll want to go to the top right-hand corner of your page, and you'll want to just hover over the picture of yourself or your your thumbnail picture, and this drop-down will show up. And it will have a choice is like dashboard, create, episode, stats, studio, settings, messages, and uh, the free premium trial. You want to go to the create. It will load your host tools. You come to this page where you see along the left-hand side, you can still go back to your dashboard. You can check out your episodes, check your stats and audio clips. It shows up on the left. And we're in the create area. So you'll want to click on the button to the left that says Broadcast. Click on that button and it will take you to whether you can choose whether you'd like to go live now or if you'd like to schedule a time. So once you click that Broadcast button, you're brought to this page. I'm going to schedule, so I have the Schedule Your Time button clicked. And I'm going to schedule something for, just for a practice, I'm going to schedule something for tomorrow, March 5th. Um, Actually, I'm going to go ahead, and my birthday is coming up, so I'm just going to go ahead and schedule one that says, Happy Birthday to Michelle. So my birthday is the 15th, and so you put the date in, and then the the next band is to the right is the time and you select the time. Now, know that your blog talk radio is scheduled in your time zone. So when you're selecting time, select the time zone, select the time that's right for you in your own time zone. So I'm going to do it at 9 a.m. and then you can do a duration. Now, if you have the free blog talk radio, which is what I have, you can only select either 15 minutes or 30 minutes. 15 minutes is just not nearly enough to do a full broadcast, so I suggest you select the 30. If it comes to a point where you want to do more time, you'll want to upgrade your account, and that's when you move over to a paid account. So I've done 15 minutes since it's just like my birthday celebration. So I'm just going to call, and now the next, the next tab that I'm working on is called the title. And it has a little red asterisk next to it, which means you have to choose a title. Try to choose something that's good and descriptive, and there's even a little button you can push here that, to see examples of some great titles. But your title is really going to sell your show. I'm going to put Michelle's birthday celebration, special event. And then you put in your description, join me to celebrate my birthday, blah, blah, blah. And you can add, as, be as descriptive as you would like in the description area. And you can, and you can it's like, much like a Word document where you can bold, you can italic, you can underline things, you can put bulleted. Um, list, okay. numbers list. You can also copy from a clipboard. So if you want to write it out on a Word document, then you can copy that document and click one of these little paste buttons. You can just paste, paste from Word, or paste plain text. And it, and it really makes it nice and easy. 
Now, before we go any further to add the tags, I want to talk about over to the right-hand side. My signal strength is only 35%. There is a signal strength bar that lets you know how uh, great of a job you're doing. So in other words, that signal strength, it doesn't mean um, how strong your signal is to make your broadcast. It means how strong your advertising is. So if I add more words in my detailed description, it will, my signal strength will grow. Okay, so as you see, I've gone to 42%. The more you write, the stronger your advertising is. So again, that signal strength does not mean that you have a poor broadcast signal strength. It just means that that's the strength of your advertising and your wording. Again, also underneath that is episode promotion. You can post it to your Facebook page. You can tweet about it, and you can list it as an event. I'm checking off all three. And I'm going to go back now to underneath the detailed description. You can put tags. So I can put birthday, celebration, fun time, and maybe we'll talk about being psychic. There we go. So I've got three. And as I add three tags, my signal strength gets stronger. Now it's at 52%. Underneath that bar, you'll want to select your visibility, whether you, whether you want it to be public, which I do. If it's PG-13, you can select that. If it's going to be some topics uh, that are a little edgy or that require a mature audience, there is a rated R button. And there's also a private button, which means that you can schedule a broadcast and leave it private. Now, advanced options, we're not really going to worry about it advanced options right now. I'll probably cover them in a different tutorial. So that we have all the components and we have everything ready to schedule a broadcast. All right? And so we just create the episode. It's creating. And when you're done creating, you get this box that pops up that says your episode was created. Uh, Michelle's birthday celebration, special event. And you can, and it gives you some nice tips, seven tips for improving your audio quality, top 10 tips for creating a professional show, and an essential guide on promoting your show. So uh, Blog Talk Radio really provides some wonderful tutorials, and I know you love the tutorials. So I strongly suggest that if you have the time to go through them, they're really going to okay. help you with your podcast. Okay? All right, so now we've talked about how to set up a broadcast. And you can set up as many episodes as you'd like. If you'd like to do weekly episodes, daily episodes, monthly, if you have them pre-scheduled and you're going to be interviewing people, you can go ahead and just write them in and pre-schedule them. Schedule ahead. Put as many as you'd like in there. Know that under the free Blog Talk Radio uh, program, you cannot do more than one broadcast per day. When, when it's time for your broadcast, you'll want to log in like you usually do. Enter your email address and your password and log in. And I'm going to just show you from, from the beginning what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to our dashboard just so that this is the landing page where you will end up on when you first sign in. And when, you go, when you're ready to, do, to broadcast your show, the button that you want to click is the studio button. And again, you can get to that by clicking in the right-hand corner on your image or your little thumbnail. Or you can get to it depending on where you're at in the left-hand side. But you definitely want to click the Studio button. Now I'm going to go over the studio with you, the little buttons and what you can do while you're, while you're broadcasting. So I'm going to start and move work left to right. And on the left-hand side, I see that there's an on-air button, but it's not lit up. When you are live on air, that word on air turns red. Right now, since I'm not live on air and I don't have any show scheduled, I have, you can see, time until my next episode is five days. So I know that my next episode is going to be five days. If you're going to be logging into this on the day of your episode that you're going to broadcast, you'll want to log in about five minutes before your show. And that little, that wording next to the on-air word will say five minutes till your show or six minutes or ten minutes. Uh, right after that, we have the guest call-in number, which is nice and handy to have because if you'd like to give your listeners a phone number to call in, you have it right in front of you. 
Over on the right-hand side, we have um, the Direct Connect button, and I'm not going to get into that right now. We're not going to concern ourselves right now. That is a premium feature button, and that allows you, if you decide to upgrade, you will be right. able to directly, yeah, you'll be able to directly connect from your computer screen, and you won't have to call in. But right now, that's not active because we're talking about a free account. But when you get to that point, we can even, I'm going to make an advanced tutorial for that. And then on the right-hand side is your host call-in number. And that's your number that you call into the show so that you can manage your show. So you can be on the computer and call in on your phone, and you can manage who's calling in. You can mute callers, you can unmute callers, and you can get an idea of how many people are listening live. I suggest you log in here about 10 minutes before your show starts so you have time to get familiar with it. And then about five minutes before your show starts, go on ahead and call in using that host call-in number, and then you enter your host PIN number. Once you are logged in, there is a, there is a column along the left-hand side that's called the switchboard. And on that switchboard, right now it says there are no callers. When you are live and people call in, you'll see a list of callers. And they'll appear in that switchboard area when people call into your episode. And when they appear, you'll see that there's a little microphone next to their name that is blue. And that means that they are muted. If you click on the microphone next to the blue one, it will turn red. That means that they are live and on the air with you. And you can mute and unmute them as you see fit. Um, in the center screen, you will see, um, I'm just going to kind of delete. You can edit your episode if you'd like. I'm clicking that away because we've already got our episodes done and ready. You can see that it gives you a description of your episode, when the show time is, what tags you've used and a short link for it. And the short link just means that that's something that you could share on like your LinkedIn. Come, come listen to my show, come watch my show. So when you are on this screen, this is for you to manage your show when you are live. But the only thing that you need to do to activate your show and make it live is to call in on the host number and enter your PIN. Everything else on this screen happens automatically. In other words, it will count down to your startup and it will automatically make that show live on the screen. Okay? And when you are done, the, the episode automatically ends itself, but it will not save a recording of the show until you have hung up. So once your episodes are done, the big question is, how do I get them on my website? How do I advertise them? What do I do with the broadcast once I'm done with them? And that's a really important step. So again, you want to go over in that top right-hand corner, and you want to click on the Episodes button once again, and it will okay. load the host tools. And you have up on the top here, you can choose All Time, Upcoming, and Archive. I like to click on the Archive. It keeps it nice and neat. I know I've already done these ones. So I, I did an interview about the Ascension process with somebody. And you can see it here, the date that it was done, what time it was done, who, what the title was, how many people had listened to it archived, how many people had listened to it live, and how many callers called in. And then after that, on the right-hand side, you see this little pencil, which can, you can click on that to edit the episode info. The most important yeah. one to look at here is the, the middle button. It looks like a little cloud with an arrow coming out of it. And it's called Download Episode. And you go ahead and download that. And, it, and what it does is it opens up the screen. And I'm just going to pause it here so the words aren't going in the background. And it's a screen with a player. And how you save this to your computer is you just hover over where the arrow is and you right click. And you click Save Video As. And you can select somewhere on your computer where you want to save it. Now, I suggest you make a folder that says, you know, blog talk episodes. And what happens okay. is that saves it as an MP3. And you know, then you can go to your um, blog, your episodes on your website. I mean, upload audio and select that recording, and then it will be on your website for people to listen to the archive. So that's, that's basically it.